Broadcasting from the PLA Situation Room in Roy, New Mexico. You're listening to the Snowplow Show. Now it's time. Cactus. 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 Cactus.
I mean, she, whatever. I, it's hard for me to remember what what to refer to him, her as. But you know, okay, you know, we're 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 okay with that. Right. Okay. Anyway, he, she, whatever, was in the middle of a drug deal, and and you're complaining just because he, she is a go-getter, and and working two jobs at once. So I don't know what the fuck your problem okay. is. You know, Taylor's just trying to trying to make a living. Okay. How come you're not so talkative anymore? <laughs> Who is this? Uh, this is Dave from the Albertsons. Okay. So your your overall experience at the store, you you answered one, just number one. But you said the girl earlier was was awesome. So why can't it be a, uh, you know, a, a two and a half or something? Motherfucker. Ma'am? Ma'am? That's weird. She hung up. I don't know why. (sighs) Call her right back. She didn't spell her name right on this form. Whoa, what's this? Hello? Brittany? Hello? Hello, who's this? Yes? Hey, is this Brittany? Who is this? Is this Brittany? This is... This no. Is, oh, who are you? I, I think we have... This is a weird, crazy, crossed connection thing. I'm calling from the phone company. From the phone company? Yeah, the telephone company. We provide your phone service. What, so, but what, what service are you talking about? Um, you, can't, you sound kind of like Carlito when he puts that thing in his mouth and talks. No. Uh, but no, I'm, I'm an underground technician. I'm inside of a manhole right now, if you know what I mean. And uh, I don't know how I got connected to you. Like, um, which area code are you in? And you what? Which you can't break it up. Which area code are you in? Which area code? Just answer the question. Who is this? What is your point? Just, just answer. I'm with the phone company. Which area code are you in? You said Albert said before. I, no, that, that's the name of the phone company. That's the umbrella name that the phone company uses. Um, ma'am, can you turn off your 56k modem, please? I can barely hear you. This isn't even Brittany. I'm not sure who you're trying to call. Oh, who is this? This is Kelly. Oh, hey, Kelly. Which area code are you in? Why do you need my area code? Because I'm the fucking phone company lady. Just answer the goddamn question. Because you're a fucking idiot. That's why, motherfucker. Hey, don't call me a motherfucker. (laughs) You guys, I don't know what that was, but the phone rang a bunch, and then that noise started happening, and there's some lady on the phone. And all I did was hit redial, so I don't know how that happened. I was just trying to call Brittany back. So that was strange. Axpa says she forgot to install the DSL filters. Pioneer says it sounds like Poxag slash flex pager signals. That's some kind of hacker speak. Hello, Brittany? No. Oh, hey, who's this? This is Richard. Hey, Richard. Um, I was just trying to call Brittany. Is she around? No, there's no Brittany here. What? Yes, there is. Come on. No. Who is this? Well, who, who the fuck are you? I'm trying to call Brittany. Who are you to talk to me like this? Son of a bitch. I'm, this is the manager at the Albertsons. She was here uh, yesterday. Guess what? The manager of Albertsons does not cuss at customers. Uh, you don't know me very well then, So do why you? don't you get your shit straight, pal, and you call here again, I'm calling the cops. You're going to call the cops? End of story. Are you going to call the cops and be like, oh, he cursed at me? <laughs> so I don't know if that was really Brittany's number or... I don't know. I'm going to leave this one alone. I'm confused now. I was going to do what uh, What's-His-Face in the chat room said, and and um, Truck Films. 
offer her some some weed try to sell her some weed from Taylor Taylor the transgender but nope I can't get through to her all right so okay we have we have one here another one his name is James and he says um, the sign said one price and the receipt showed another make sure prices are clear if there's a limit the signage should state that clearly okay I don't know what to say to this guy let's call him up oh I have to change my number first hold on no no Facebook mob Gloria I'm sorry I'm only gonna be on for an hour and we don't waste time with that we gotta do the Facebook mobs when I get an earlier start and I can do a longer show so shut the fuck up with your caps lock key I'm only changing the area codes again, so hopefully they don't notice like those people did last week. Alright, this person is very pissed. They have a phone number. Her name's Christina. And she talks a lot. I gave this experience a 3. My checkout experience was absolutely terrible. I would give it a 0 if I could, but Kelly was wonderful in the deli department. Which I noticed she moved to a new department because she's usually on register. What a nosy... <laughs> anyway, my experience with Jessica was a bit concerning. First, she never smiles and always looks very unhappy at work, even though she's not the only one. <laughs> I'm going to say she had a stroke. Make her feel bad. The first customer was a tall, white male who she greeted and had a full conversation with. She asked him, did he find everything okay in the store, and they began to conversate. Afterwards, she made eye You have reached the voicemail box. Let me guess, this lady's black. She never said hi or hello. She just rang me up. But what really made me upset was that she said hello to the lady who was Indian. Hello? Oh, hi. This is Dave from the Albertsons. Is this this Christina? Yes, it is. Hi. Hey there. Uh, I understand you, you had a problem with Jessica, the cashier? Yes. And, um... You said she didn't smile at all? Yeah, and she she didn't um, greet me, for one. Mm-hmm. And she never, you know, smiles. And it's not even about smiling in my case. It's just the way how I was treated that day. I see, yeah. As well, a customer. You know she had a stroke, right? So she's she's unable to smile all the time? Okay, that's what I said. I, I don't really mind about the smiling. Oh, okay, why'd, you, why'd you bring it up then in your comment? Because as a customer, okay, you just said she had a smile. She she just had a stroke, right? Yeah, yeah. It's hard for her to smile. It really, it really, uh, it really uh, wears her out doing that smile thing. And sometimes she just okay. Can't. Well, I bring it up in my comments because that's what it asked me. Now you just said that it she had a stroke, and that's why I said okay. Well, I really wasn't too much, you know, concerned about the smile. And okay, but me being greeted then. Mm-hmm. What would be the the reason behind not being greeted then? Oh, she just didn't like you. She's like, oh, I just didn't like the looks of that lady. She, <laughs> she just she she said to me that you had a resting bitch face. Really? Yeah, that's what Jessica said to me. Who is this? Uh, my name is Dave. I'm the manager here at Albertsons. Okay. Yep. So this is how you. Tell uh, talk to customers that you know did a survey online. Well, no, I'm I'm just telling you what Jessica said. She said I did not like that lady. She had a resting bitch face, and she she just she okay. made me uncomfortable. Is this a prank? And, oh no, this is not a prank, ma'am. Okay, so where is this going? Are oh. you following up on me or? Yeah, yeah, I'm just I'm trying to resolve your issue. Okay, so how will it be resolved then? Oh, I'm just letting you know. Like, she had a stroke, so it's hard for her to smile. And she also just didn't like you. And and she, she actually said to me, she said, maybe if you want to be smiled at, you should try smiling first. Really? Yeah. Did you did you try smiling first? Or, or did you just uh, uh, stand, in there, stand in line and assume she's a big racist? Well, I don't know if she greeted the person, was talking to the person in front of me, which was a white male. Then she just gave me eye contact, and then the person behind me was an Indian lady, and she asked her how she was doing. 
but never greeted me. So oh, sounds like she's not a fault? racist because you know she's okay with the Indians. So you're you're just looking for something to to complain about, probably. You're, you're just you're, really you're you're looking. Well, you know what? Don't worry about it. I would never ever come back to any Albertson ever in my life. All I think, right. I think you're racist for not smiling at her. How am I racist with? By not smiling at her. Oh, I don't know. I you just said she's. Smile. You just said she was racist for not smiling at you. So I think it's the other way around. You're the racist. Really? Stop being so racist, ma'am. We don't allow that in our store. Okay. Hell of a day. What? A hell of a day. Is that what you said? <laughs> Is that some sort of a racist comment? I think that made her happy. So I didn't get to finish reading. Um, I don't use the race card, but I'm an African-American lady. It sounds like she's using the race card. But felt that I was being discriminated against. Jessica, Jessica began to ring my groceries and told me my total. And I really wanted to just refuse... Wait, I really wanted to just refuse my groceries, but I just left work and was really tired. I called the store a day later to complain... I really hope that this type of behavior doesn't happen to others. All customers should be treated equally. That's not true. The customers that are jerks, got to got to be mean to them because they deserve it. Trunk Film has 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 good ideas. You know what I should say? I should call her back and say that Jessica is actually black. So how could she be racist? You didn't notice that she was black? All right, Wayne, I specifically went there for a couple of items and they weren't available. Guess the store stopped carrying them. He would like to have more variety in, of, in flavor of products, not the same three or four flavors, and five different brands of low-fat, non-fat, sugar-free, specifically referring to the flavored coffee creamers. I don't know where to go with this. I'm going to call him, though. Ah, oh, i got to change my caller ID. Hold on. Hello? Hello, Wayne? Yes. This is Roy. I'm the manager here at Safeway. Yeah. And um, I, I noticed that you filled out a, a complaint thing online about our coffee creamers. Yeah. And um, yeah, we ha- we have all of the different coffee creamers. We ha- we have a. Uh, th- are you you're not a club card member at Safeway? Yeah. Yeah, I'm a cl- uh, card. No, no, not that but- club card. I mean, uh, an exclusive member. D- do you have access to the other side of the store? the other side of the store <laughs> yeah yeah it's like it's like a large door it looks like it's employees only but that's to keep people like you out if you go in there there's like more stuff like more variety and things and there, oh, there's there's a whole aisle of coffee creamers i swear to god oh okay because <laughs> yeah, you know it's just that was one of the things i always used to swing by your store for mm-hmm. and you just you drop like half a dozen different flavors including a couple of your own you know, Luxern brand. Yeah. Uh, well, yeah, you just have to, you have to pay the fee. It's $50 a month for the exclusive membership, exclusive Safeway membership. And that'll give you access to the other side of the store. Like, like you, you, you only see like maybe two thirds of the store. If you want access to the other one third of stuff we have, it's $50 uh-huh. a month. Oh, okay. Kind of, kind of like Costco. You pay your, <coughs> your membership fee. Yeah. If you want the good okay. stuff. I didn't know Safeway did anything like that. Yeah. Yeah. The, it, you, you, yeah. Like, you know, you can peek in the doors if you want. You'll see all the variety over there. Okay. I but, might kind of uh, sneak an eye in there and just take a look to see. Because, you know, for just myself, I find most of the time, you know, it's like like you mentioned Costco. It's mm-hmm. just not worthwhile for me to pay their yearly fee because I don't use enough of anything like that to make it worthwhile yeah this one's much more th- this one's much better because um you know it's only 50 dollars a month and you get yeah. access to more of the store and more creamers yeah, but, and stuff yeah. like that yeah let's see in my case it's just myself and so i don't spend much over 50 dollars a month total <laughs> hey if you peek in that door don't don't try going in there because there's a bouncer he'll fuck you okay. up man he'll fuck you up if you try to go in without a membership card Okay, well, I'd like I said, I'd just maybe take a look and stick my stick my face around the corner and see what yeah, it looks no, like. Yeah, no, no, D- don't even put your face inside the door. Just peek inside the little crack, but don't don't touch the door. He will fuck you up. 
You think you can fight him? You can't. He's a bouncer. He's a professional. Okay. Well, whatever. All right. Just letting you know. Don't try to go in there without a membership card. Pay your $50 like everyone else. Well, like I said, it's not worth it for me. Oh, it's not worth it now. Well, no. I mean, I'm single. I barely spend $50 a month on groceries as it is. Well, maybe you should eat more. (laughs) He hung up. He was a nice guy. I should have been nice to him. I have been trying to get someone to answer a complaint for over two months and have been ignored. Online customer service is horrible, non-existent. Online customer service is terrible. And that's it. Let's call up Mary. This is Mary. Hey Mary, this is Roy. I'm the the manager here at the Mm -hmm. Albertsons. Oh, hi. Hi there. I understand you needed someone to call you back about a complaint you had. No, it's nothing to do with your store. It's the people with the online complaints don't answer. That's all. Oh, it's I see. It's nothing to do with your store. Uh huh. Well, it's been like two months, and they keep saying they'll have somebody answer me. So if you can get somebody to resolve my complaint online, that'd be great. Okay, I can do that. I just need to um, collect a stupid bitch fee from you, and I can go ahead and connect you through. The what? I'm the, sorry. It's a stupid bitch fee is what I have to get from you over the phone. If you have a credit card, it's just $10, and I can go ahead and put you through to the toll-free number. There's, wait a minute. There's a fee for me to complain for right. them to get back to me? It's called, We call it a stupid bitch fee, and, and it's $10, and if we go ahead and get that set up here, I'll connect you to the toll-free number. Oh, I'm not going to do that. Why should I? Why should I pay to complain? Well, because I don't know. You you don't seem capable of dialing the toll free number yourself. So I'll just connect you. I'll, we'll make it a three way call. Wait a minute. What the fuck did you just say to me? I said you don't know how to dial a phone. <laughs> so I, I'm going to oh, dial it for you. This is some guy that just called me a stupid bitch. You want to say? I don't know. He says he's a manager, but I can't imagine. Manager of what? I don't know. I don't know. Hey, hey, asshole, where are you a manager of? Safeway. Do you speak English? Do you speak English? Oh, oh, oh. Are you from IRS? We got the IRS guy. Yeah, Yeah. I think it's the IRS guy. Come on, entertain us because we got everybody at the bar listening to you. Well, I can barely. Oh, of course you hang out at a bar. You're one of those old bar hags, aren't you? This is, this is some guy from Hold Safeway. On. I put in a, a complaint, so now I think I'm not going to be able to figure out who he is. This is hysterical. Oh, you're Safeway. not you're not yeah. smart enough to yeah. dial a phone, man. So you're not going to figure out who yeah, I am. Yeah, yeah. Last, time I, last time I shopped at Safeway, I got Toe Main. I never shopped there. <laughs> <laughs> it's very <laughs> fun, offensive. Yeah, that's the end of that one, apparently. Oh well. <laughs> hey, Brad. It's Crimson. So, um. Basically, uh, I was listening to an older show, and one of the most epic <laughs> prank calls I've heard in a while that was on, it's the November 30th, 2014 show. November mm-hmm. 30th, 2014. So what are you saying? Every show since then has sucked? All right, whatever. It's at the end of the uh, episode uh, here on YouTube, and like everybody in the comments is like, it's like, Oh, this is one of the best like <laughs> clips I've ever seen on the phone losers. And mm-hmm. it's, uh, you probably remember it by your use of the word hand pistol. Ah. And you're talking to this lady back and forth, and then Giad is your manager. Of course. <laughs> Giad. Into a rage. Anyway, I don't want to give too many uh, spoilers away in just in case you play on the show. The other thing I wanted to do is. Uh, say- That's the one where uh, Giad was an employee of mine, or was I? Uh, no, he was. I was an employee of his, and he fired me while a customer listened. And then I came back with a hand pistol and announced that I have a hand pistol. Because, you know, it's like radio theater. That If you want to look at one episode, that's really good. Like, if I have to point anybody to Phone Losers, which I do all the time, by the way, I point them to the Homeowners Hate um, 
what is it, The Lost or whatever, Walking Dead? Walking Dead. <laughs> Walking, <laughs> Dead. Walking Dead or Over the uh, Lost or whatever. Yeah, Walking Dead. And uh, where you call around to people, mostly homeowners, and uh, that's like the best episode ever. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thanks. So, uh, if you could, like, maybe re-upload those clips or throw them in a show or something, maybe some of the clips from that show, or some, or especially the one from November 30th, 2014, that'd be awesome. All right, thanks, Brad. I yeah, will bye. try to do that soon, maybe. Or haven't I already done that? Isn't that on YouTube? I don't even know. So behind on everything. Anyway, everyone should go listen to November 30th, 2014, and listen to me kill Jihad. Hey, Brad. It's Joe Bag. Uh, I got a quick question. I want to know if you're going to uh, the PAX this year. Is that what it's called? The PAX? The PAX. PAX or whatever the fuck it's called. That's it. The PAX. Uh, I wonder if you're going this year. Because my friend is. He's an asshole. Didn't buy me a ticket. So yeah, he's a, he's a motherfucker. What a horrible know? friend. He's a hobo. So, uh, you know, I hope you're packing your lift full of that Copenhagen mint. You know, it just came out nationwide. And, uh, yeah, white power. Yeah. Yeah, the PAX. I would love to go this year, but I'll probably miss out on getting my ticket again because it's nearly impossible to get a ticket because I don't watch Twitter closely enough or something. And I've, I've kind of just given up on ever going to PAX again. You know, it was fun while it lasted, but it's hard to get tickets. And I bet you're referring to PAX East. I don't go to PAX East. I go to PAX Prime, which is in Seattle, or I used to anyway. But I'm going to guess that no, I will not go to PAX, but who knows, maybe I'll get lucky and I'll get some tickets. And we'll have a huge PLA meetup there. It'll be great. Hello, my name is Eric Blank, and um, I was just wondering, how do you get all these famous people, like, the phone number, like, Reba? Like, I really, really want to know, because, you know, girl, I love Reba. Did you just call me girl? Call me on your show. Thank you. That was 30 seconds ago. You better put me on the show. I have no idea what you're asking. Try to uh, enunciate and not mumble into the phone next time. Are you asking how I get the phone numbers for the pranks I do? I, I don't know. Like, uh, these were submitted to me, the, the grocery store customers. And other customer numbers, we just kind of trick the businesses out of them using all kinds of trickery, if that's what you're asking. Hey, Brad. You don't have to air this uh, voicemail, but... Um, Oops. If you want to, you can. Too late. Uh... What if we, uh... It's kind of a long one, though. I don't know if we're going to make it to the end. Tweeted, like, got everybody to tweet at, like, Joe Rogan, because he's on, uh, Joe, uh, he's on a Twitter quite a bit. But, uh, he runs the Joe Rogan podcast. I wouldn't be surprised if you've heard of it, or even if you're a listener. Yep. But I really like it. He's, like, a stand-up comedian. Yeah, I've heard it. I've, I've listened a few times. I, I can't say I'm really into it, but he's a funny guy. I like his show. He's just like really down to earth and really cool and and he's a comedian and he's hilarious and uh i think you really like him yep and uh anyway he does a three-hour podcast uh, oh, okay. where he has like a really in-depth interview You're making fun of the length of my podcasts whatever i get it like a guest and stuff and it's just people like he's interested in like honestly and so um if you i, I was thinking what if we just tweet at him like a bunch of your videos and just say hey check this guy out yes and and see if like he'd be interested in having you on as, as a guest because that'd be like really Hell cool. Yeah. And then do like, it. What if, for instance, you could do like a few calls live on air and he can kind of ask you about how you got into, you know, uh, phones and kind of that would be so much better than that that stupid reply all podcast interviewing me. You know, cover your call ID. Like there's there's a lot of interesting discussion material in there. Yeah, and, uh, yeah. We just got to convince Joe Rogan that that's interesting. And not incredibly boring. I don't know, just an idea that maybe we could uh, try to message him. Or What's his Twitter name? On there. I mean, you've already been on, been on CNBC, so yeah. I mean, this wouldn't be that yeah. crazy. Jo- Joe Rogan's nothing and, uh, compared just, to like, CNBC. Whoever on, so let's try it. Hey, maybe. I think it's a great idea. It's too bad he didn't tell us what Joe Rogan's Twitter name is, so we can all tweet at him. Oh, look at that. What do you know? It's twitter.com slash Joe Rogan. R-O-G-A-N. I think that's a great idea. I think everyone should tweet at Joe Rogan and send him your favorite Phone Losers prank video from youtube.com slash Phone Losers of America and beg him to have me as a guest on his show. I really don't think it's going to work, but it can't hurt, right? Everyone bug the shit out of Joe Rogan. That's your homework assignment for this week. Bug the shit out of Joe Rogan. Hey, Brad Carter. Hey there. What you doing? Oh, you know. Um, I noticed that your shower cam is down. Oh, and really? I've been paying uh, nineteen ninety five per month, and it's been down for three weeks. I'll I fix really that. like to see you showered, but it, the cam has been down. Uh, please get this remedied. 
sooner than later before I cancel my membership. Okay. Thank you. All right. Bye. Listen, everybody, I need support to buy a new shower camera because my shower camera turned out it wasn't waterproof. And as you all know, that's a perk of being a supporter of the show. But I don't have the money to fix my shower camera. So if you could go to phonelosers.org slash cactus or patreon.com slash phone losers. Maybe support the show a little bit so I can buy a new shower camera. So PLA, it's Time Guy. Today it's March 27, 2016. And on this day in 1871, the first international match of rugby was played. Bye. That was really boring. Thanks for the call. Oh, look at this. I have about six messages from Corbin Guy. Let's uh, delete all of them except the shortest one, which is 20 seconds long. Because I'm pretty sure that that's going to be the best one. <laughs> it's Corbin Guy. It's Corbin Guy. <laughs> yep, God, this is the best one. I just pissed in my boot. Fuck you, Brad. It's your fault. Fuck you. Sorry, Corbin Guy. Fuck you. Fuck you. <laughs> Corbin Guy pissed in his boot, everyone. He's calling to let us know that. Thanks, Corbin Guy. I think it's time for us to get back to the show. And if you got bored with the voicemails and you didn't listen all the way to the end, then it sucks to be you because this next call happens to be my favorite one of today. So here it is for those of you who didn't get bored and turn off the show already. All right, let's call Don. Don says... Every time I visit the store, if this particular cashier checks me out, she's continually speaking with people out loud, gossiping with other customers. Hello? Hello, Dawn? Yes? Hey, Dawn. It's Roy. I'm the manager here at the Albertsons. At Albertsons? Oh, Yeah, yeah. um, You filled out the online complaint thing, and I was just calling to resolve your issue. Oh, yeah. I didn't, you didn't need to call me, but okay. Oh, why didn't I need to call you? Well, I just thought it was a survey. Oh, what? You're okay with uh, complaining about our employees on online, but you're afraid to do it over the phone or in person? Why couldn't you just talk to a manager in the store? Excuse me? Why couldn't you just talk to the manager in the store instead of... Because um, I was getting ready to... um, I had to be somewhere. Oh, yeah, right. Yeah, you sound really important. Like, why are you just a coward and, and you only want to do it online? Hide behind your computer? No. Who the hell do you think you're talking to? Uh, it sounds like I'm talking to Don, the, the fucking complainer. Is this a joke? No, it's not a joke. I, I don't appreciate you um, talking shit you, about my you employees. You said the F word to me? Oh, and oh, you're oh. calling me from the store? Oh, so I can't say... I'm a fucking complainer? I can't say yeah, the F word? I have been in... I have been in that store a million times, and this woman is the same way every single time. Is this the one that you're saying, this associate has an arrogant attitude and is bitchy every time I've been to the store? Yes. So you can say bitchy, but I can't say fucking. Is that how it works? Okay, are you, are you work at the Albertsons in, um, in, uh, okay, so I can fill out this thing that like a you coward. guys ask us to fill out like the coward you online. are fucking coward yeah go ahead i bet you can this pl- is a joke right no it's not a joke at all i'm trying to resolve your issue okay so you're calling me a fucking coward and you're calling from the store and you want to resolve the issue well, it seems obvious you're a coward. Are you like, kidding me? Like you could are have just, you kidding me? You could have just talked to the manager while you're there. I, I, I work for a company that I've worked for for 24 years, mm-hmm. and if I called somebody and said that to them, who the hell do you think you are? What? That didn't make you sense. You work at the Albertsons in... in. Correct, yeah. Yeah, I'm the manager and, here. And, and you're telling me... So, okay, I want your name, I and I will you. go into the store, and I will talk to the manager, oh, you probably won't. and I will tell him what you said. You're probably just going to fill out another anonymous online survey on your computer. Oh, hell no. Not when somebody calls me on my phone when I'm on my lunch break when I'm working and calls me a fucking coward on my phone. Yeah, well, I cursed because you cursed. you be kidding me. You said the word bitchy in your, in your complaint. Yeah, yeah, so... Yeah. So, so, so um, exactly. Uh, so, have, yeah. So, but in your customer service uh, person that's going to try and 
resolve issues and then you're going to call the person who filled out the complaint a fucking coward. Yeah, and a trick-ass hoe. Write that down. Trick-ass hoe. So, um, oh my God, what is wrong with you? I'm just trying to resolve the complaint. You said she was speaking... You've got to be shitting me. You called me a trick-ass hoe and you're trying to resolve the complaint? Are you... Now, are you fucking kidding me? No, I, I was now, trying to resolve now, things. Now, you started you're going to tell attitude. me that you would talk to me. If you were standing in front of the CEO of Albertsons, you would talk to me the way you're talking to me right now? Yeah, I'd punch I him in the nuts. I don't bullshit on your ass. Oh, whatever. Because fucking nobody talks to people like that when they work in customer service. Whatever happened to you, um, I'm sorry, what can we do to make this experience better for you? Oh, welcome to 2016, ma'am. Are you fucking kidding me? You're calling me a trick-ass hoe? And don't forget, this is, okay, yeah, 2016. So I've got your phone number locked into my phone now. What does that mean, locked in? Uh, It's on my redial. It's not blocked, so I can call it back. Well, I don't care. It's the store's number. You can call the store anytime you want. Just try not to be a bitch when you talk to people like, you know, you were with that cashier. I didn't even talk to her. What? Well, maybe that's the problem. She, she, Ma- she, maybe she was she was continuing on a conversation with the guy she had already checked out, which she does every single time. And the only thing I got from her was, "Are you playing the Monopoly game?" Probably because you're no fun to talk to. Because listen to yourself. Of course, she's going to talk to other people. Are she you wanna... kidding? To, are you kidding me? She doesn't want to talk. You call me a trick ass hoe and call me a fucking coward. And you're going to turn this and blame this on me? You've got some wonderful associates in that store. I know we do. This All of them is are. not one of them. I, no, she is. She just doesn't like you. Uh, okay. So, I mean, that's not... But a... I, I, I doubt... How would she even know who I was? Well, she just doesn't like your attitude. She doesn't know you personally. She doesn't want to either. I'm just saying, you know, maybe she doesn't talk to you because you're not fun to talk to. Because you just yell at people and... And curse, no, I don't. I was standing them. in line with my son. Oh, so... so yeah, I'm upset now. I'm upset now because you called me a trick asshole. So what the, do you think's going to happen? Th- that's the only... Are you fucking stupid? That's the only reason... I mean, re- what the fuck do you think is going to happen when you call a perfect stranger on the phone... You're not a stranger. And you say feel- what you said to me. What do you think's going to happen? So the only reason you didn't... Uh, no, you answer you, my question. You weren't a How bitch at her because a you were with say, your son? No, you know, you're not answering my question, so who's the coward? How do you expect somebody to respond when you say those things to me over the phone? I tried to be nice, and you just started being mean to me and cursing and stuff. Um, what planet are you from? <laughs> what does that mean? Seriously. Seriously. You called me and said, I would like, and I said, oh, I didn't know you were going to call me. Jeez. And listen, you were like, oh, you. so you're just going to hide behind your, your computer and be a, a fucking coward? Well, that's a cowardly thing to do. Seriously. Like, you should just talk Seriously. to the manager. You're in customer, you're in customer service, she, and you're going to call me and say I'm a fucking coward. She's got a phone at her register. Do you know I, how I, many times I have had, uh, uh, I go to that store, I'm in that store two or three times a week. Yeah, that's how they know I've you. I've never, ever, ever filled out um, one of your surveys before except for jenny because she's like the nicest thing ever oh i hate jenny and no you don't no i do because i tried to i tried to come on to her and she she denied my you know what whatever i'm not interested in listening to that garbage okay well i'm just saying i don't like her because of that like, well, who, that's fine. Who I don't does, care. Who does that's she think she is? As far as her doing her job, she does a wonderful job. I'm better looking She's than a her. Great cashier. <laughs> she well, won't, uh, even, won't even give me the time of day. I had well, to fire that. That yeah. I was gonna say trick ass hoe, but I didn't want to take that away from you. I think I'm gonna fire Jenny just to spite you. Hello, Don. What is wrong with you? Nothing's wrong with me. There I, is something I, wrong I, with you. For I, you to pick up the phone and call a total stranger who filled out... You're not a stranger. A You're in our store all the time. survey, call me names, call me a trick-ass hoe, call me a fucking coward. I tell you, you have wonderful associates, 
Now you're going to say you're going to fire her just to spite me? I should. I mean, what is, okay. There's something seriously wrong with you. Well, the real reason is just that she she turned me down for a, a date. She's been married for years, so you know what? Who cares? Well, that, that doesn't matter. Who Welcome cares? to 2016. Like, you know what? It's none of my business if she turned you down for a date. Who cares about well, you're that? You're the one that keeps I'm bringing it up. About, I'm talking about her job performance. Um, yeah. She's a great <laughs> cashier, and she's a friendly woman. Yeah, she's friendly to you, and, and maybe. And I'm basing that on my experience with her. Oh, I'm surprised she's friendly so to what, you. So what you don't like her for, way, that is totally, completely irrelevant to me. The way she, the way you, the way you treat everyone, I'm surprised Jenny even likes you. You, you have got to be joking. I'm not joking. I filled out an online survey like a because coward. I felt like I was being... Tr- are you kidding me? Every single time I go in there, I go to the I go to the meat department, I go to the deli, I go to somewhere, they put a little red tag on whatever it is that I've ordered saying, "Please go in and tell us how we've done." Right, yeah. So, but- so so I go online and I do what I've been asked to do a hundred times and I get a phone call from a fucking dickhead <sighs> who is going to shit on me because I did what the store requested me to do. No, but most people, they're, they're not like this about it. You know, they're nice in their surveys. And you they give us, they I give us friends, hey, shut up, shut up. I have friends hey, shut in up. management. They give us constructive the criticism. In the store in Kingston. So, you know what? I've got your phone number now. I'm going to go talk to the managers at the Albertson in Kingston. Good. And you can fuck off. You th- you and think, I hope you don't have a job. You think the guy in Kingston has authority over me? I could kick no, him. No, but I'm I, sure I could, he can get a hold of somebody. I could kick his can. ass any day. Dude, you're a joke. Your, your, your dick's probably the size of my pinky, and that's, that's why you get on the phone and harass women that's the way nice. you are. Fuck you. Do not call me back. This conversation is over. I'm just trying to dickhead. resolve your complaint, and you just start yelling at me. You're- Whatever. Whatever. Just trying to help. Ma'am? Now I'm depressed, because called me out of my dick size. Whoever, whoever, I think it was Carol. Did you tell me to call her a trick-ass hoe? <laughs> that was funny. She didn't like that at all. Whoever told me to do that, thank you. It was fun. She kept bringing that up. <laughs> Joyce. Um, Joyce is over 65. That sounds hilarious. And uh, her number's weird. I don't know the area code for this particular area, and this lady has an out-of-area cell phone, so I can't use that one. Okay, let's call up Joyce. Joyce says, Albertsons is going down in quality and service. Albertsons mail flyers, advertising flyers have changed with Hello. safe... Hello, Joyce? Hello? Hi. Yeah. Hi, Joyce. This is the, the manager here at Albertsons. This is Roy. Yes. And I'm just calling about your, uh, you, you uh, filled out a survey and you had a problem with the advertisements. I did. And in typical fashion, they send me back to the store. This is the flyers are actually a corporate problem. Mm hmm. Um, well, well, who, who the fuck do you think you are telling us how to run our store and how to make flyers? We know how to make flyers. Excuse we, me. We've been in this business a long time. Thank you. Well, hey, I'm just saying, you know, okay. Shot my load too quick on that one, you guys. Hello? Hi there. Um, is this Joyce's husband? Yep. Um, did Can you tell Joyce that when she filled out the survey, she filled it out upside down? Can you let her know that? Yeah, so what difference does that make? Well, she filled it out upside down. It's very hard to read. So can you let her know that real quick? Or can you just put her on the phone? Well, I think going to do any good to have that conversation. Why not? Because we filled it in. Well, it, it came the way it showed up on the computer. Well, I know, but she filled it out upside down. Is, is your monitor upside down and you guys are just too dumb to, to fix it? You know what? What? May I have your name, please? Sure, it's Roy. 
I'm the okay. manager. Your last name? Zerbel. Okay. Not- just call me dumb, young man. I'm just trying to resolve the issue. No, you're not, and you're using foul language, and you will be reported to the corporate office. Well, that's because Joyce was being kind of a jerk. I don't believe that to be the case. No, but she you know was. What? You should read this survey. You are a, you, you are a jerk, sir. Ah, uh, what? <laughs> okay. Just like your wife, huh? Look, I forgot more about computers than you'll ever know, boy. Really? But you will get reported because I do not take that crap from anybody. What all do you know about computers? I helped design the IBM PC. How oh, about that? So you just know about old computers. You don't know about new computers. You just know about old stuff. You are F, okay? I'm a what? <laughs> I think he said, didn't he just say fuck? Like, <laughs> He didn't know how to curse. He's just like, fuck. I kind of want to call him back and and tell him I'm having computer problems. Hi, this is Joyce. Okay. Guess we're done with that one. Looks like we have 13 minutes left. And then I'm quitting the show for the day. So, um... I need to hurry. <laughs> that guy was awesome. Oslo from the chat room wants me to tell him my 8088 won't go into turbo 10 megahertz mode anymore. What do I, what do? I, do? Uh, I wish he would answer. <laughs> Never enough cashiers. You have to wait too long. Um, all right, let's try this one. You know why we don't have a lot of cashiers? It's so you'll do more impulse buying from all that shit we have at the, the front register. And it works. Shows what this guy knows about how to run a store. I never even worked in a grocery store, and I know this stuff. Hello? Hi there, this is Roy from the Albertsons. Is this Gary? It is. Hey, Gary. I understand uh, you had a problem with how many cashiers we have. Yes. And, um, I don't know. That's pretty normal, isn't it? Like any store you go into, there's not a lot of cashiers. Well, uh, uh, granted, uh, there's going to be times uh, that you're going to be uh, have people calling in sick or this or that, mm-hmm. but uh, every time I go in, it seems like it's the same thing over and over again that uh, you're standing in a long line and why they're, if there's a, somebody uh, else in the store that could be called up to momentarily uh, run a uh, register to alleviate that problem, uh, I would think that it would be done. But as uh, all the times I've visited, I have never seen that happen. So, yes, it, that was one of the things that uh, bothered me about uh, the store. But uh, you sound like my uncle Scott. Keep shop in there. Pardon yeah. me. Oh, nothing. Well, you know, like the reason we don't have a lot of cashiers is because if we get cashiers, you'll get out too fast, and then you won't impulse buy from the from the register. You know, all the gum and other products we have there. We we have <laughs> yeah we we have okay yeah we have to slow people down so they'll impulse buy. Well, uh, to me, that doesn't sound like a very valid reason, but uh, well, not to you, uh, but you know, we we make a lot of money right. from those impulse buys. Sounds like you don't know how to uh-huh. run a store. I see. Well, uh, listen to what how you're talking to me and everything. Maybe I need to uh, think about going elsewhere. Oh, I'd like to see you try because guess what? We have the lowest milk prices in town. You're not going to do better on milk prices. Yes, you do. And guess what? Any other store you go to, they do the same thing. They they don't put enough cashiers out, so you'll impulse buy. Okay. You know, that's just how it's done in the grocery store industry or Walmart or anything. Uh Uh-huh. That's right. Okay. And who are you? Uh, My name is Roy. I'm the manager. Roy what? No, Roy who? 
I'm the manager here at the store. You're the, the store manager? Correct. Okay, well, it gives me um, uh, something to go by and, and talk to people above you. Because well, you definitely have a, a bad attitude. Well, they're going to tell you the same thing. I mean, come on, this is common knowledge. Everyone knows this stuff. Impulse buying. Okay. Why do you think we put all that shit up there? Put all that shit up there. Okay. Yep, that's well, right, Uncle you know Scott. What? I don't. I don't think I need to talk to you anymore. Good. I don't want to talk to you either. You remind me of my <laughs> dead Uncle Scott. Your dead Uncle Scott. Yep. Okay. Well, you uh, you need to learn how to talk to people better. Oh, okay. And uh, maybe you can get some uh, more business that way in the, instead of trying to get people to stand in line to buy bubble gum or whatever. We don't need more business because we, do, we get all the impulse buying. Okay, he's gone. <laughs> oh, fucking Scott. So that is the end of today's show. I only did an hour on the air today, but luckily, most of the calls worked out. There wasn't a whole bunch of ringing and no answering. So watching the video of today's show isn't as painful as it usually is, because people actually picked up. So if you're a supporter of the show, I mean a supporter of $5 a month or more, then you can watch a video of today's show by going to phonelosers.org and looking in the show notes, as long as you're logged in. You know, people like Bobo Bob the Hobo Bob, who was the sponsor of today's show. He can watch the live video of the show. Don't you wish you could? Anyway, thanks everybody for listening to today's show. I don't know if I'm going to do any more grocery store calls this week. Maybe I will. I don't know. Maybe I'll just make this the week of grocery store calls. And you guys will get completely sick of them like you do with the uh, the carding calls and Ding Timber. But I will definitely do another show this week. I know last week I said I was going to do more shows and I flaked out and only did one show for the entire week. I suck. Try not to hate me. But you know what would help me do more shows? Besides supporting the show yourself, just get me more listeners. I am desperate for listeners. The guy in the voicemail had a great idea. Let's bug the shit out of Joe Rogan. And that probably won't work. It'll probably just piss him off. I'm sure other people have done that to him too. And he'll just blacklist the PLA forever. But I don't care. Why not? Let's just try it out and see what happens. In fact, you know what you guys should do? All of you should pretend to be my agent, my manager, or whatever and start writing to a bunch of really popular podcasts and say, hello, I'm the producer of the Snowplow Show or the Phone Losers of America, or I'm Brad Carter's agent or manager or something like that, and I'd like to book him on your show. Yeah, that's what you should do. We should trick shows into putting me on the air so I can get more exposure and more listeners, and I'll do more shows. Everybody wins. It's the best idea ever. All right, I'm done with this. Bye, everyone. Here's some music for you. Meet Dieter, 17 years old. Fed up with having to pay outrageous amounts on his long-distance bill, he decides to steal calls from the phone company. 